Hi everyone. Today, we are demonstrating Microsoft Word formatting basics. We will cover 10 key elements to consider before you start writing. Getting these right will save you time and give your document a polished look. After formatting, only one page remains, hence it is also referred to as one page formatting tips. First up is page orientation. Head to the layout tab and pick portrait to keep things standard. Next, let us sort out page margins. Click on margins and then custom margins. Put one inch for all margins. For page size, go to more paper sizes and choose A4, a common choice worldwide. This ensures your document looks good whether it is digital or printed. Now, let us make sure text alignment is consistent. Select all text and go to the home tab and hit the justify button for a neat finish. Always stick to one text style throughout the document. We are going with Times New Roman. Keeping it consistent gives your document a unified look. Next, let us ensure consistency in paragraph text size. Generally, a font size of 12 is widely accepted for paragraphs. Another often overlooked element is line spacing. While a line spacing of 1 may seem fine, it can sometimes cause readability issues. We recommend maintaining a line spacing of at least 1.15 for improved readability. Now, let us address paragraph spacing. We will set an after spacing of 6 points. After setting this, use the Format Painter tool to copy the formatting and apply it to the other paragraphs. You can also utilize shortcuts to expedite this process. Now, let us address the essential task of defining heading styles. By applying these styles, you enable the automatic generation of table of contents for your entire document, which is incredibly convenient. Do not forget to refer to the video link in the description for a tutorial on creating a table of contents. Begin by selecting heading 1 and specifying the numbering style for automatic numbering. This numbering feature will be a time saver, especially for lengthy documents. Pay attention to the hanging value while formatting. Setting it to 0.5 ensures proper alignment of all headings. With heading 1 selected, right-click on heading 1 in the Styles tab and choose Update Heading 1 to match selection. Then, move on to heading 2, apply the necessary formatting and update it in the Styles pane under the Home tab. You may notice that the numbering for heading 3 appears as 1.1.1 instead of 1.2.1. This is because the heading 2 style has not yet been applied to the heading immediately above it. After applying the style, you will see the numbering change accordingly. Repeat this process for heading 3. Note that, we avoid numbering in Heading 4, to maintain a visually appealing format, without requiring a large hanging size. Finally, apply the required styles, to the remaining headings, to ensure uniformity, and clarity throughout the document. Lastly, let us address the final element, of formatting which is, header and footer. We will demonstrate a simple, footer style, but it is worth noting that, there are various other styles available. Be sure to tailor, your, header and footer, according to the, guidelines and preferences, of your organization, or project. Thank you for watching. If you found this video, helpful, do not forget, to like, this video, 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more useful tips and tutorials.